This episode is part of our Australian Pale Ale series. Today's beer is James Squire 150 Lashes Pale Ale. Hello and welcome to Beer Australia Reviews. Now today, as you can see, we're going to be drinking some James Squire 150 Lashes Pale Ale. So another one of our pale ales that we're going to try. Now, James Squire is actually a relatively new in brewery. They actually opened up in Sydney in 1998. But since then, they've actually made it into like a more of a mainstream brand. And one of the best things about the um, James Squire brand is the brew pubs that are in each of the... Um, the capital cities across Australia. So in Perth, where I come from, um, we have a uh, one called the Generous Squire, which is in the um, the city centre. So when you go into the Generous Squire, it's one of these typical brew pubs with all of the big vats behind the bar, and you can see them brewing it. Um, also, they because it's a brew pub, uh, they oftentimes have like lots of like small. Um, limited run beers so a lot of the time if you want to sample some of their more unusual beers the only place you can do it is actually to go to the pub and go in there and order a pint so each time that you go in there um, it, they have a, like a different range of um, beers on on tap and stuff so and i think they do all of their ones i think they sell uh, all their mainstream ones all the time and then they have like a few um, extra ones that you've never seen before so it's worthwhile um, going for a visit and also um the the Generous Squire in Perth is a place that we like to go and have a meal as well. So it, it's good food and good service and you know, craft beers. So always good. Okay, now there's a bit of a um, question about um, who was the first person uh, to brew beer in Australia. And strangely enough, the James Squire brand um, claiming it was a guy called James Squire um, in Sydney. And he had a pub... Uh, now, James Squire was actually one of the first fleet. He was one of the convicts who was dropped off in Sydney um, when the first fleet arrived. Um, and um, after being a convict for a while and working his way around and whatever, a bit of wheel of dealing, he actually ended up being a, a brewer, um, brewing um, some of the first beers in Australia. A couple of other people have got some questions on whether he was the first one. But anyways, um, if you have a, a listen to the James Squire um uh, blurb on their website they say he's the first one and i don't know who am i to argue so he used to have a um a pub called the malt shovel now when the um uh, when the the new brewery opened in 1998 they took over the same name so the brewery itself in sydney is called the malt shovel brewery um but if you go to the um, one of the brew pubs in any of the other cities, I'm quite sure though that it's actually brewed um, on the premises um, in each of the brew pubs. So um, now I'm actually not quite sure where this one is brewed. Brewed and bottled at various locations around Australia. So there you go. So you you can't actually tell where this one's from. So you take your chances with whatever water they have in the local area because the the quality of the water. Um, will have a big determining factor on the quality of the beer. That's why some places in Australia you can't drink the beer. Yeah, Perth is one of those places. But when you go south of Perth, go to Margaret River, uh, the water is much better quality. They they take a lot of ring water in Margaret River, so the the beer um, tastes better when it comes from Margaret River as opposed to being uh, from Perth itself. And now, um, okay. Right, so now on the website this says it is an Australian style pale ale as opposed to uh, your little creatures. Well, I think little creatures and 150 lashes um, pale ales are like the big rivals to each other. So both of them started off as like small volume things and both of them have now like um, turned into like larger volume producers. So this is like now a mainstream brewer across Australia and they advertise on the telly and stuff. If you're not from Australia, you may not have seen the 150 Lashes um, adverts, but they um, uh, they tell a little bit of a story about the about um, James Squire himself from when he was a convict and they tell that on the, um, uh, on the website. Apparently, 
he was sentenced to 150 lashes, which is where they get the, the name of the beer from. Okay, so now, Australian style pale ale, quenching full of character. And it also says malted wheat adds some refreshments and a concoction of hops creates fruity aroma with hints of passion fruit and citrus. Okay, well, let's find out. Paler in colour than the little creatures. It's got quite a quite a dense foamy head as opposed to some of the pale ales I've seen recently. It's deeper colour, not as orange as Little Creatures Pale Ale, but it's deeper in colour than some of them that I've seen. Quite a lot of sparkle, that's looking good. Okay. So what do we get? Well, yeah, I can smell the aroma from here already, so it's got in plenty of hops in there. What does it say about the hops? It says a concoction of hops. So on the website, on the um, the James Squire website, it doesn't tell you what hops it is. You can look it up. Um, I'll have to start doing that one day, won't I? But to be honest, it's more about the flavour of the beer and whether I like it or not, uh, as opposed to does it have a particular type of hop in there. Okay. But unusual this one that it's got malted wheat in there. So um, so it's not a wheat beer. It's still a barley beer. Um, but the fact that they do put a bit of wheat in there um, yeah, is their little recipe. So let's have a try, see what we get. Not as fruity as some. It's got some malt in there. Yeah, we get a little bit of, ooh, possibly grapefruit. Uh, what else did he say? Grapefruit, passion fruit, and grapefruit and citrus. Okay, well, let's try. Oh, it's quite sharp, this one. So it um, feels like there's more bubbles on your tongue than some pale ales. Um, not the most acidic, and it it's not having like a, a long lingering um, aftertaste as some of them do. Mm. Okay, so uh, it's a really nice beer. It's not as, as like strong and, and as complex as the as its big rival, the Little Creatures Pale Ale. Um, but I actually think it's a little bit more of a refreshing beer than the Little Creatures Pale Ale. Um, it's more of a lager style than it is like a, a pale ale style. And now I don't know whether that's a difference between with um, Little Creatures, they say it's an American pale ale, and this one definitely says an Australian pale ale. Um, but uh, uh, another thing I'd say about the um, uh, about the James Squire 150 Lashes is it's available on draft in lots of places around around the whole of Australia. Now, if I walk into a pub and they've got some mainstream brands and they have um, uh, James Squire 150 Lashes, this is the pint that I have first. Um, it's available uh, in more places than Little Creatures, on draft that is, so you're more likely to come across it. So if, you, if you're out in the pub in Australia next time and you see it, definitely give it a try because on, on draft it tends to be a really nice beer. Um, I don't know if, I don't know where about it's brewed when it's on draft in Perth. Um, I think I've had it in, I've had it on draft in Perth and I may have had it on draft in Tasmania as well, I can't remember. Um, okay, let me give it another taste now that I've got it lingering in my mouth. It actually, to me, has a hint of like German lager taste. If you've, if you've sampled any of the, uh, like a mainstream German lager, the one that they um, sell extensively across Australia is one called um, Oettinger, which is sold by the Woolworths Group. So it's available in places like BWS. Um, it it has that source of flavour to it. Now, with the German lagers, it's partly down to the, like the purity laws, which mean that they can't add any extra bits and pieces. But strangely, this one has less of the usual Australian water 
twang to it and it's got more of like a German lager sort of a flavour to it. Mm. Okay, unusual. Okay, now we've lost a little bit of our bubbles. Um, we've got the head's not as dense as it was. Uh, is that a cloudy beer or is that a. Mm. Okay, so we've got a little bit of cloudiness. We've got. Head's still quite dense. We've still got a lot of bubbles in this one, so that um, that says to me that the quality of the beer is actually quite good if we've got um, more bubbles in the thing. It goes back to the champagne thing. If you buy an expensive champagne, you expect the bubbles to be lots of them and smaller, finer bubbles. Um, a cheaper sparkling wine tends to have bigger bubbles that disappear quick. So when you see a beer, um, it, the quality of the beer the production comes from exactly the same place. If you see a beer with lots of small bubbles that last for a long time, it's a higher quality beer than one with a big froth on the top that then just goes flat. Well, I mean, nobody wants to drink a flat beer anyway, do they? Okay, so conclusion on this one. It's available in lots of places across Australia. I would always have a pint of this if I see it in the pub, if I walk in and they've got uh, James Squire 150 Lashes Pale Ale, I will have a pint because I like it. It's really good. Oh, head to head. I'm going to come with back with a head to head. Um, I'm actually going to do Little Creatures Pale Ale versus James Squire Pale Ale at some point, and we'll see which of them comes out on top. So it's a different beer from that one. Uh, this is more like other sorts of pale ales that you get across Australia, like a lot of the Margaret River beers that you see, because uh, every single one of the little micro breweries in Margaret River in Western Australia does one of these sorts of beers. But I think this. Um, uh, holds up well against any of them. So, um, not very malty. It doesn't have the strongest of aromas. I am getting hints of um, of grapefruit in there, strangely enough. Let me see if I can get any passion fruit. Grapefruit, yep. Yeah. Passion fruit, not so much. Hmm. Quite a bit sweeter than some pale ales as well, so I'm still not getting passion fruits. Grapefruit, yeah, I've, I've got grapefruit come out of that one. So, not the maltiest of beers, um, not the most complex, uh, a more refreshing, quenching beer than some pale ales about um, that are out and about. So, for a hot summer's day, which you get in Perth, um, a pint of this will go down really well. So, this gets at least four chainsaws, maybe four and a quarter chainsaws. This one. So, James Squire 150 Lashes, yep, yeah, really good beer. Try it out. Thank you for watching.